I think typically students have been consumers of technology. Um, and I think f what this has done for them this week is showed them that they can be producers of technology, that they can create and innovate. And students at Daniel's Run are learning there's a little more to computers than they thought. This December, the entire school participated in the nationwide Hour of Code, which was sponsored by Code.org. The Code.org website had free tutorials and videos from Microsoft founder Bill Gates and Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. With the help from their school-based technology specialist, students could try their hand at some computer programming. But this wasn't just for the upper grade levels. Every Daniels Run student participated in the Hour of Code. We've had the opportunity to have our entire school, kindergartners through sixth grade, participating in learning how to code computer programming. Um, and they're getting the opportunity to see what it's like to become a computer programmer and hopefully get excited about looking into the future at, at uh, potentially becoming a computer programmer someday. Students were paired together and then they could choose a particular program that they could use to code. But students were learning more than just how to program, they were learning how to think differently. I realized that it incorporated all of the things that we're looking for uh, in our mission with our students. The four C's of 21st century learning skills, uh, working together, problem solving, critical thinking, uh, creativity, um, and uh, collaboration. And so uh, we, we felt like it was an opportunity for our students to learn how to make mistakes, try something new, and get excited about a skill that would benefit them in the future. Well, computers are more than games because, like, you can make your own, you can make your own game, you could make your own, you know, website that can help people, you can help people in important stuff, and you can, and it's also a fun activity to do. I think it's really fun, um, I think coding is really cool, and it can, it can just help you think of computers and technology from a different perspective. It's not just something that you go on to play games. You can actually learn from it and um, you can also have fun while learning though. Another skill that students learned during the Hour of Code was that it's okay to make mistakes. As a matter of fact, students were encouraged to make mistakes. As they came through the computer lab in the Hour of Code, we told them that we wanted them to make mistakes. We wanted them to learn how to fail and use that as a tool to figure something out along the way. We taught them how to be systematic in their thinking, um, to, to break a problem down into its bits and steps along the way. And those skills will transfer over into everything else that we're doing with them here at the school. It's okay to make mistakes because if you don't make mistakes, then you're not going to learn anything new. But if you do make a mistake, then you learn something new today. You learn how to do something that you didn't know before. So I think it's really important. Activities such as the Hour of Code allow students to not only learn what a computer can do, but it gives students the chance to learn how to communicate, work collaboratively, be creative, and become problem solvers. All skills that will better prepare them for the future. We want our kids to not be afraid, to take risks, and to have a school culture where they feel comfortable to try something out and have it not go well, and that that will be okay. That the process of their thinking is more important than the product of their thinking.